Well, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day here in the U.S., and while federal employees have the days off, hundreds of New York City employees, like airport workers, block streets in protests today to demand higher wages and paid holidays. Thirty people were arrested on disorderly conduct charges for blocking the street, including U.S. Congressman Charlie Rangel and eight members of the New York City Council. Members of the Service Employee International Union marched across a bridge leading to LaGuardia Airport to ask for better work conditions. Prince Jackson is a security officer at JFK Airport for a contractor named AirServe. He told me that this protest goes well beyond a one-day rally. We've been at this for about three years now. Um, uh, we first went to our supervisors. Um, and then we went to the upper management. Uh, we went to the contractors, the, the airlines that actually um, contract us. And uh, we've gone to the Port Authority. And um, just last month, we went to um, Mr. Foy at the Port Authority with a petition that have 2,000 names on it requesting that we have this day Martin Luther King Day as a paid holiday. Um, he ignored the, the request last year. He ignored the request uh, just a month ago. And so now we've at, we reached this point. Um, we hope that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see some positive results soon. But if not, then we're just going to have to take it on as far as it can possibly go. Now, many of the people participating in the protest are security guards, contract workers, and those who clean the planes after passengers leave. At the moment, they are paid minimum wage with no paid sick days or vacation. Minimum wage in New York is $7.25 an hour.